Hey everybody, it's me again, the Lego Master, and over the course of eight videos, seven, uh, if you count the one that was split into two parts, I've made, uh, six modules in my Lego Minecraft world. I started with the desert, the desert world, then I went on to jungle, then, uh, snowy plains, then, uh, badlands, and then I built a cave module, and then, in my last video, I built a cherry grove with a basalt delta on the other side, and now... In this video, I'm going to make an expansion right here that expands my cherry grove out, uh, makes a plains biome, and expands my desert, and ends the desert on this left side. So let's dive into it. Alright, so as usual, I have an 8x8 block module here. Uh, I've already started with the cherry grove tiling, and I've uh, lined it out around here. Now it's just time to tile on the rest of it. All right, it's all tiled off. So now I'm going to put some flowers on my planes to make it look more colorful. And I've got my cherry grove here, my desert here, which is still taking out most of the space in this uh, module. And I want to do something with that space. So I decided to build a desert village house. And I'm about to do that now. So let's uh, build that. My plan is to build the Small House 5 design from the game, so I think that one will be pretty simple to build. I think I should be able to do it. Alright, my village house is complete, and I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, one of my favorite parts is the jungle door, and I think it's pretty good, especially for the fact that it's actually functioning. So it can actually swing open and shut, and uh, it's more of a game-accurate sized door, at least. Um, it is actually two blocks tall, so it's actually uh, the right size. And uh, it doesn't look completely accurate, but uh, that's because I use this uh, hinge piece to let it move around. Alright, going to the interior, the interior has a roof that can be popped right off really easily. And on the interior, we have a game accurate bed as well as a crafting table, a window, and by game accurate I mean it's two blocks long, like the real bed in Minecraft. And we even have those terracotta tiles in that house. Alright, spinning this thing around from all angles, it looks pretty good. And I like the texture I used here. Uh, with those studs to make it look more sandstone-like. So, there we go. And I think this module is already almost done. So, I added a little uh, sand dune here to give it a little more texture, and now it's time to add those pink petals onto my cherry grove segment. So, alright, for the pink petals, I'm using varying pieces in different pinks and whites to just vary the texture. And I'm just going to be putting those on. Finally, the last step of building this module is populating it. So, uh, since it's the beginning of a village, we need a cat and a desert villager to live around here, and a little baby sheep for the cherry grove to add to uh, just, you know, the innocence of the cherry grove. All right, time to add this to our other modules. So um, before we get into attaching this to our other modules, I just want to show you a couple recent updates I made to some of my uh, modules. First one being this. I put a wall, uh, desert on this side, netherrack on this side, to keep the desert from the nether, uh, the overworld from the nether as much as possible. And now it is time to add the two biomes together. And that looks really good. This transitions so well. This is the best transition I've made so far. Uh, how this desert just goes into... How this module just goes into this module so easily. It just is really good. Alright, time to attach this to our other chunk. And it's just gonna go right there. 
I shortened this hill, I kind of modified it a little bit, uh, just to make it seem like it goes into that house, so that the house seems a little taller, uh, because the hill was pretty tall originally, and it would have uh, made this house look like a sand bin. So I tried to keep that from happening, so I lowered this hill, and I actually like it modified. And there is all of my modules put together, and it looks really good. I can't believe how much it's grown in just a month. We started out with that little desert module, and, well, it grew to this. And I'm pretty proud of this latest two modules. Uh, I think it adds a really good addition to our existing chunk. And we're officially at half a chunk. Uh of our second chunk, so you know what that means. We're going to be adding another two 8x8 uh, eight eight modules to that side to make another complete chunk. Where am I going to go from here? Well, I have a few ideas. I want to expand my planes over here and possibly start a forest. Um, and of course, we just uh, added a village house, so that means that a desert village will come in the future, however eventual that is. Eventually, I'm planning to expand out my nether this way, but that could be a while. Next time, I'll be building an ice spikes biome and expanding our plains. But for now, that's all for today. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.